Oh my god, hi! There's actually people here, that's so funny. I didn't think anyone would show up. Hello, friends. Yeah, I was fixing my thumbnail. It's not going. Is it going now? Let me know if it's working. Oh my goodness, hello. This is so fun. Does anybody like have any questions or? Hi, oh my gosh, hello. There's actually people here, that's so cool. It's working, awesome. You're watching Camp Rock right now. That's a good movie. Thanks, Samantha. I love you too. I'm 11. I'm 20, actually. <laughs> I was reading a comment that said I'm 11. Germany loves me. I didn't know a whole country loved me. That's pretty cool. How long have I been on YouTube? Like two and a half years, I think. I'm not sure. How am I? I'm good. Thank you for asking. You're 11 too. That's so funny. I remember when I was 11. It's good times. Don't cuss in videos. Don't worry. I don't cuss in videos. I don't think I, I haven't cussed in a video, right? I try to say good. I try not to cuss. What makes you want to start a YouTube? What made me want to start a YouTube channel? Um, a lot of things. Um, I started it when Liv and Maddie came out, um, Liv and Maddie Cali style, and I really wanted to talk about it. And so I just was like, I'm going to make a YouTube video about it because I didn't have any friends that watched the show. And so I wanted to talk to people about it. And yeah, that's how I did it. I can't remember a lot from ages 12 to 14. Me neither, Catherine. Me neither. Favorite song from High School Musical. Did you watch my video on it? I said it already. It's um, but um, bum bum. It, it, it is. Why can't I remember the title? Um, just want to be with you. That's my favorite one from High School Musical. Are you excited for Descendants three? Of course. Who isn't excited for Descendants three? Do you think the Descendants three soundtrack will be the best yet? I hope so because I feel like Descendants soundtrack was good. Descendants 2 soundtrack was better. So then I feel like Descendants 3 soundtrack will be even better. I don't know. Are you guys looking forward to Descendants 3? I am. You're one of the best YouTubers. Thank you so much. That's so nice. Make a video about Kim Possible. Oh, the Kim Possible music video? What? Yeah, that new video that came out. That was weird. I was not okay with that. It's not that I wasn't okay with it. I'm just kind of like why do we need to have a theme song? It's a movie. You don't need to remake the theme song. It's so weird. I love all your videos. Thank you. Hey, I recognize you. You go on my Instagram live sometimes. I like that. Thanks for watching. But um bum You're so happy for Descendants 3. Me too. Have you watched Andy Mac? I do. I watch Andy Mac. I'm excited for the new episode. I want to see more about um TJ and Cyrus, because they're like my favorite thing about this show. Also, um, Bowie and Bex, they're my everything. I love them so much. They're so adorable. Can we talk about Andy Mack? We can talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. Um, did y'all watch the new episode? It was pretty good. <laughs> How would you feel about an R-rated Austin Alley? I don't think I would like that. <laughs> it's a Disney show, so I like it to be... G and that's 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 what I like. My goodness, 68 people. That's so many people. I'm sorry, I'm in shock. Can we talk about Sunny with the Chance? Of course, we can talk about Sunny with the Chance. It ended too soon. The ending was sad because Chad and Sunny weren't together in the end. But besides that, it's like on my top 10 list. Um thoughts on Ant Farm? I should rewatch Ant Farm. I haven't seen that since it came out, but I remember really liking it when it came out. And then I, I mentioned in one of my videos that I don't think it's a good show, which I don't think I agree with anymore. I think Ant Farm is a good show. I like Ant Farm. It's got some good music. I should rewatch it. I feel like I don't talk about it enough on this channel. Kim Possible is not a musical. That is true. What do you think of my Babysitters of Vampire? Um, I think that it's a good show. It's a Canadian, which is pretty cool. I don't really remember much of it. I haven't seen it in a really long time. Wizards Waverly Place is one of my favorite Disney Channel shows of all time. I love it a lot. It's really good. Do you want them to make a Austin Alley reunion special? That'd be cool. See, with Austin Alley, I really liked the first season of Austin and Alley, and then I feel like it kind of went downhill after the first season. But a reunion would be cool. 
Would you ever do a video ranking all the dances from Shake It Up? Uh, probably not. <laughs> I haven't even finished watching Shake It Up. I think I only got to like season two of Shake It Up. Um, I don't know. It wasn't one of my favorite shows, so that's probably why. What do you think of the Kim Possible remake? Listen, guys, I don't want to judge it too hard because it's not out yet. But I don't think it's going to be very good. You know, I always get excited when new DCOMs come out because then I can make a new video about it. But uh, I don't want to make a video about it. Like, I feel like I'm just going to be too hard on it and I don't want to be too hard on it. But it's one of my favorite shows. And so I feel like I'm going to be hard on it. I don't know. I don't know what I think about it. Was Radio Rebel Disney? Yeah, of course it was. What is your favorite Netflix show? Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. Like a Netflix Netflix original show or just like show that's on Netflix? Because I don't know. I recently watched The Toys That Made Us, which is like a really cool Netflix show. They talk about like different toys and like how they were a thing. They talk about like Hello Kitty and uh, Transformers and stuff. That show was really cool, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite one. It's just the first one that came to mind. Do I like Starstruck? I love Starstruck. It's one of my favorite decoms, like for sure, because it's like basically a fan fiction, but in a movie. Like, how awesome is that? Oh my goodness, there's 89 people watching me. That is so weird. I usually do my Instagram lives and there's like 10 people watching. This is so crazy. Okay, I need to answer more of the questions. What, uh, the, 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 what happened to Camp Rock 3? They didn't make one. Do you have any decom recommendations? Ooh, that's a good one. What are you like interested in? I lost the comment, but like, what kind of decom do you want a musical or do you want just like a regular decom you got to give me more Kim Possible is gonna be cool mm, we don't know yet you never watched Starstruck what are you doing watch it do you like, like Riverdale I watched like the first season and then it started going downhill I would say the answer to that question is no I don't really I feel like the writing isn't very good on that show. And like, I feel like it started out good. Like, I feel like the concept was pretty good. And then like, it's just like, it's not a very good show in my opinion. Soy Luna is really good. Thank you. I know you are welcome. It is my favorite show. It's so good. I watched the Lego, the toys that made us. Yeah, it's a really cool. It's a really cool show. Do you like I Am Frankie? I've never, wait, is that a Netflix show? I feel like I have heard of that, but I haven't watched it. I think they are trying to make the new Kim Possible movie be cool and edgy and it'll ruin it. Yeah, I just don't know how to feel about it. I feel like it would have been awesome if they just made us, gave us another animated movie. Like I would have been really happy about that, but then they made it live action. And I just don't know how good it, I'm really nervous about it. I'm really nervous about it. I, uh, I work at the Disney store and I had a guest the other day that was like, Tell me, like, what is up with this Kim Possible movie? And I was like, I don't know, buddy. I don't know. Like, it's just, I, I don't know. I don't know. Will you ever do Disney XD shows? I have before. I've talked about Star. Does that count? I don't know. What do you think of Vanessa Morgan? She was on My Boost Vampire and is now on Riverdale. Ooh, she's Canadian. She's cool. I think she's really cool. I think she was also on something else too, but I can't remember. I'm going to Google this because it's going to bug me. Vanessa Morgan. She was on something else. What else was she from? The latest buzz. That is what I was thinking of. Okay, if anybody knows what the latest buzz is, it was like the best Canadian show ever. I love that show. She was on that too, so that's cool. Favorite The Lodge ship? Ooh, probably Ben and Danielle. I really, really like them. I was just thinking the other day at work, I was making a list of my favorite ships because I'm like, I need to make that video eventually. And I was like, Ben and Danielle were pretty high up there. I love them. Thoughts on Descendants 3? I already kind of talked about it, but I'm excited for it. I hope it's good. And I don't want it to be the last one. Like people keep being like the last one. And I'm like, I don't want it to be the last one. We can make as many Descendants as we want. Dove Cameron said she'd be down to make as many. So we need like seven Descendants films, that'd be great. When I saw the word Dreamcatcher, I thought of a different band, not going to lie. I don't know any other bands with Dreamcatcher in it. Thoughts about Simbar? Okay guys, let's talk about Simbar. So I'm finally, like I'm on season three now and I'm taking a really long time to watch season three because like I don't want this show to end. But I really liked, like when they got together, I was like, I really liked like how Amber was like, going through a lot of stuff and Simon came in and he like helped her out with it. It was so cute. And then their first date was so cute. Simon is like the most adorable person. Like I want to date him so bad. He'd be such a good boyfriend. 
And then, yeah, she did some stuff and he's like, see you later, which like, it's understandable. But then I was like, sad. But then season three happens and he just like forgot that he was mad at her. It was so weird. I'm like, what just happened? He went from like, you're the worst person ever. I never want to see you to like, hey, do you want to dance with me? And it was so weird, but I don't know. Later on, I think in episode two, he was like, um, what do you say? He was something like, I understand this could be hard for you. So I'm like, okay, maybe he, because he was mad at her before he found out that Luna was Sol Benson. So then maybe just, then he was like, oh, Amber's going through a lot. I don't know. It's weird. If anyone can explain that to me, that'd be great. Gravity Falls, anyone? Great show. I love Gravity Falls. I just got this phone case the other day. Where is it? For the Gravity Falls fans. Guys, I got this the other day and I love it so much. I like Gravity Falls. It's a great show. I should make videos on it, but I feel like I like I'm not a good enough like theory person to make videos on Gravity Falls. So that's that. Fave high school musical movie. Ooh, that's really hard, but I really like the third one. I just I don't know. The production in the third one just like is so good. I like the third one. You don't like Gravity Falls, Ashley. Why don't you like Gravity Falls? It's a great show. You hope the Lodge come back? I do too. It's a great show. And especially because they ended it on that cliffhanger. <sighs> Makes me sad. Do you ship foul? <laughs> By foul, do you mean Phidias and Mal? <laughs> uh, yes, I do. Ships for Gravity Falls. I don't know. It's hard. That's the only thing about Gravity Falls is like, I don't, I don't know. There's not really many ships on there. Thoughts on Princess Protection Program. That's a good movie. I should watch that. That's my thoughts. My thoughts is it's good and I should watch. Oh my gosh, a hundred people are watching me. This is so weird. I've never had that many people on like a stream before. This is so weird. Do you ship Trish and Jace? Who's Jace? Who is that? Trish and Jace. Sorry, I'm a fake fan apparently. Trish and Jace. I do not remember this character at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not a very big fan of Austin and Allie. Uh, do you ship Cyrus and TJ? Yes, I do. They are very in love. I really liked in the last episode how we got like Cyrus, TJ, and Jonah all together. I was like, this is the love triangle that I want to see. You know? It's good. I liked that. But, but, uh, do you feel like Lizzie McGuire will have a sequel TV show? Probably not because they did Andy Mack instead. Top three Disney Channel shows. I actually know this because I'm literally working on a video that is my top 10 Disney Channel shows. So if you're gonna watch that, I'm literally about to spoil it for you. But my top three are Woods is Waverly Place, The Lodge, and Soy Luna. So that's my top three. What are your guys' top three? Let me know. Lemonade Mouth? I love Lemonade Mouth. That's actually my favorite Disney Channel original movie. So, like, when I make that list, eventually it'll be number one. What do you think of Ambi? Is that Amber and Andy? Because if so, I ship that. I've shipped that since, like, I don't remember, but I tweeted about it a long time ago. <laughs> do you ship Andy and Jonah or with Amber? I ship, bleh, I ship Andy with Amber because that's cute. Also, Joda is annoying, so I don't ship him with anybody. Do you like why do we? Oh, do you mean why don't we? I don't, but I like the vamps. It's the different band, but I feel like they're related in a way. I do know a lot of people that like them, and I got to see them one time, and they seem nice. I just, I don't know. I don't listen to their music. Lizzie McGuire, The House of Mouse, and Liv and Maddie. Liv and Maddie's good. They're, Liv and Maddie's definitely on my top 10 list. It's funny, someone else has said thoughts on Starstruck. Um, I already talked about it earlier, but it's good. It's one of my favorites. What about Carlos and Jay? I don't know. I feel like they're more of a friendship to me than a love ship, you know? Love DuckTales. Yeah, is it good? I feel like I should watch it because I've heard a lot of good things and... Um, at work, they always play the theme song, and I'm always like, this is such a jam. What are your thoughts on the new composite? Oh, my gosh. I'm so sick of answering this question. Um, I, uh, I don't want to say anything until I see it. DuckTales is good. Okay, maybe I'll check it out. Have you watched Miraculous? I haven't, but I've been recommended it before, so I feel like maybe I should check it out. 
I feel like it's kind of like Sailor Moon and I like Sailor Moon, so maybe I should watch it. Are you a Marvel fan? I like Spider-Man a lot. The new Spider-Man movie was really good. That one was amazing. I loved it. You like The Lodge? I love The Lodge. I don't know why I just did that. Do you like people ship Mal and Edie? I like that people ship it. I think it's really cool. I don't personally ship it just because I feel like they're more of a friendship than a relationship. You know, like there's some ships where I feel like I can, can't really see them like liking each other. You know what I mean? Like I just look at them and I'm like, but you're like too good of a friends to be together. So that's how I feel about Mal and Edie. That's how I feel about Riley and Maya. That's how I feel a lot of like the friendship ships is that I'm like, but there's, they're really good friends. Thoughts on Sunny with a Chance? I said that earlier, but um, ended badly. But other than that, it's like one of my favorite shows. Mal and Evie or Evie and Ben? Well, Mal and Evie, obviously. Like Evie and Ben is like, like my secret shit. Like I ship it, but only like a little bit on the side. Like Mal and, um, Mal and Ben are my number one for sure. Boy Meets World or Girl Meets World? Probably, like, as much as I love Girl Meets World, Boy Meets World is, like, my favorite show of, like, all time. Like, of all time. Like, not even just Disney. Like, favorite show overall. Um, I'm actually getting my roommate Nina to watch it, and so we're on, like, season six. We're getting to, like, the good part now. We're there in college. That's, like, my favorite seasons. I love Boy Meets World so much. Favorite decom ship? Ooh, that's hard because I was working on my list for Disney Channel and that was easy. Whereas I haven't really thought much about my favorite decom ship. But when I do do like my ship videos, they're going to be separate. So like I'll do like Disney Channel original movie and I'll do Disney Channel original series. Um, but favorite movie ship? The first one that comes to mind is um, Kayla and Will from Cloud9 just because I love them so much. They have like one of the best kiss scenes. They're so cute with each other. I love Luke Benward. I love Dove obviously. And yeah, I really like them. They're really cute. Do you Victorious on Nick? Do I watch it? I do watch Victorious. I've seen it before. I should make videos about Victorious. I think I've thought about doing like top songs before. Like I don't care that it's not Disney. I'd probably still make videos about it eventually. I just haven't gotten around to that yet. Jake and Miley or Jesse and Miley, do you even watch my channel? Olivia? You should know the answer to this. Of course, it's Jesse and Miley forever and ever and ever and ever. Do I like Nick as much as Disney? No, I definitely like Disney more. I only really like a couple shows on Nick, like Zoe 101, Victorious, iCarly. That's basically it. What do you watch that's not on Disney? Um, probably <laughs> it's hard because with my channel, I really, I really, really tried to just like to watch Disney stuff because I haven't seen everything. And so I'm like, when I have free time, I'm like, I should watch this Disney show so I can make videos about it. Um, but my favorite show that's not Disney is probably Jane the Virgin. If anybody watches Jane the Virgin, it's coming back soon. And I'm really, really excited about it. What crossover in Disney would I love to see happen? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, what's on right now? Um, I know that Gravity Falls ended, but I think that a star and Gravity Falls crossover would be really cool. I would be all about that. Favorite gay ship? <laughs> TJ and Cyrus. Yeah, I'd probably agree with TJ and Cyrus. I really like them right now. Also, I always wished um, from the lodge that Josh and, like, I know Kaylee and Noah together forever, but, like, Josh and Noah, though, that would have been really cute. Do you remember Alex versus Alex? Oh yeah, yeah I do. For a second my mind was like, Alex and Co? But like, no, that's a different thing. Yeah, I remember Alex versus Alex. Justin wasn't in it and I'm still mad about it. I'm so sad Disney ended to connect. I don't know what that comment means. I'm sorry. <laughs> Which show is better? Which, what? These comments are going too fast, guys. Do you miss the girl in Doomcatcher? Yes, I do. <laughs> Da, ba, da, ba, da. Do I ship Jay and Monty? Not really. Like, I kind of don't like when shows, like, just put people together for the sake of, like, we want everyone to be together. And I kind of felt like that's what they were going to do with Jay and Lonnie. Like, I'm really sad she's not going to be in Descendants 3. But I'm also kind of happy that means Jay and her aren't going to be made canon. Unless, I feel like they could still make them canon if they wanted to. But I think they're really cute friends. So I'm kind of happy with them just being friends. Also, their hair is way too similar. But then I guess they'd make like good kids. They'd have nice long luscious hair. 
I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what is your favorite music at the moment? I've been listening to the Soy Luna album on repeat, but I also just downloaded all of uh, Carol, Carol Sevilla. Is that how you pronounce her last name? I feel like Nina was like, that's not me. I just downloaded all her stuff. So I've been listening to that. I also love um, Gabrielle Applin's new song. It's called My Mistake. It's really good. You guys should check it out. Um, she's like my favorite artist at the moment and probably just ever. So how do you feel about Dove Cameron starring in Clueless? I'm sad that I couldn't go see it, but I didn't really like the movie Clueless. Like I watched it a few years ago and I was kind of bored by it. Sorry to all the Clueless fans, but she seemed really cute in it. And uh, yeah, I it was cool to see the pictures on Instagram. So that was fun. Do you like the Lego movie? Sure. I actually just rewatched it um, with my friend Katie, which you guys might have seen in some of my videos. I do the explaining decoms to her. Um, I just we watched the Lego movie because she'd never seen it. And I was like, you have to see this movie. And it was good. I like the Lego movie. I'm excited for the second one. Jackie! <laughs> we should do a live next time you're here. And it should be on YouTube because people really watch YouTube ones, apparently, and not Instagram ones. Best singer in Soy Luna. I'd probably, hmm, probably Yam. I don't know how to pronounce her real name, but Yam is probably my favorite singer. I don't know if she's the best singer because I'm not like a vocal coach person that knows stuff about singing, but probably Yam. And then I think Mateo is really good and Simon is really good. They'd probably be like really high up there if I ever did a list on that. Would a Disney reality show be a disaster in your opinion? It depends what it would be about. Because isn't Bug Juice technically a reality? I don't know if that's real or fake, but that's technically a reality show, right? Have you seen The Last Dance? Is that a Netflix thing? I feel like I recognize that title. Who's your favorite? The Lodge character. Ooh, that's a good question. I also just recently started rewatching The Lodge, and it just makes me sad that it ended. Uh, for some reason, my mind's going to Danielle, but I also really like Sean and Ben, even though they're both probably pretty uh, problematic. Uh, I like them. Do I like Dove and Thomas or Dove and Ryan? Obviously Dove and Thomas. Ryan's a douche canoe. Do I have a favorite Disney princess? Probably Rapunzel or Tiana or Mulan or Merida. No, Rapunzel is my favorite. I just like a lot of them. Raphael or Michael? Don't ask me that. That is such a hard question. I don't know because we there's so many things we don't know yet. For people who aren't caught up, I won't say anything. But there's so many questions. That's hard. Like my heart says Michael, but I don't know. We don't know what's going on. I'm just really excited to see the, the next season. I'm just really sad that it's going to be the last one. Do I ship Tess and Booker? Yes, I do. Ever since that episode where they were like doing basketball or something, it was so cute. And I was like, y'all are going to end up together. I just know it. Do I think they should make a Zombies 2? No. <laughs> Thinking about ranking the crossovers. That's a good idea. I feel like then I'd have to watch all of them though. And I feel like there's a lot. <laughs> Do I ever, did I ever watch Adventures in Babysitting? Yeah, I think I did a review on it, didn't I? Did I not? Was that before my YouTube channel? Now I don't remember. Maybe I didn't. <gasps> Heck, now I don't remember. Adventures in Babysitting. I didn't. Oh my goodness, that was before my channel? Well, that's too bad. Thoughts on the live action Lion King. I was actually just talking to my friend the other day about that. I feel like it kind of reminds me of Two Brothers for some reason. I don't know why. If anybody knows what Two Brothers is, then maybe you could be like, know what I'm talking about. But I don't know. Lion King is, isn't one of my favorite, um, what's the word? Disney movies. So, Um, what am I saying? I got distracted. Lion King isn't one of my favorite Disney animated movies. And so I probably like 
I don't know, I'm excited for it, but I'm not like crazy excited for it. Also, uh, Rafiki kind of scares me because I had a scary experience with Rafiki when I worked at Disney World. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna be emotionally ready to like see him in CGI. Like I might, I might get triggered or something. <laughs> Yes, Two Brothers is the Tiger movie. You know what I'm talking about. For some reason, my mind thinks that live action Lion King is like really similar to Two Brothers. And it's, I don't know why. I don't know why. Austin, Moon, or Brady? Probably Brady. Actually, mm, that's a good question. I feel like it depends on which Austin Moon because I feel like Austin Moon goes through a good character arc. So if it was like Austin Moon at the beginning, I'd probably say Brady. But then like Austin Moon at the end, then maybe Austin Moon. Yeah, that's my answer. Where did I work at Disney? Y'all find out in my video tomorrow. I did a video about it and it's going up tomorrow. Thoughts on Riverdale? I already talked about it. I think it's not a very good show. <laughs> Have I watched the Disney Brain? I actually used to watch the Disney Brain a lot. It's actually one of the inspirations for my channel because I did start out my channel um, doing voiceovers, kind of like how he used to do. I feel like does he? I feel like I unsubscribed when he started making a lot of stuff about Power Rangers, and so I kind of stopped watching his channel because I don't watch the Power Rangers. But um, I feel like I really liked his old stuff. It inspired me to make my channel, which is pretty cool. What is your favorite Disney couple? Probably Luna and Mateo. Opinions on Let It Shine. I think it is one of the best DCOMs ever, and it's definitely underrated. Um, the music is amazing, and I love it. It's a great DCOM. Ooh, Jackie sent me a Snapchat. Let's see what she has to say. Opinions on best friends whenever I actually watched an episode or two because I was gonna do an is it trash video about it Which I probably still will end up doing because I feel like it gets a lot of hate But I watched the first like two episodes and I felt like it wasn't even that bad Thanks Jackie, I love you. You can do your lab report. I think that it saves the live you can watch it later if you want <laughs> um, What was I talking about? Let it shine. No, I moved on from that. I don't know Thoughts on OGs being cut from bunked. I mean, like, why? I remember even in my bunked video, I'm like, it's great that this season's gonna be the last. And then they're like, just kidding. <sighs> yeah, it's it's unfortunate. But maybe, you know what, maybe it'll like revamp the show and it'll get good. You know, I don't like judging things before I actually see them. As you know, with my is it trash video. So like, I don't know, I have to wait and see. You enjoyed Best Friends whenever a little, but people say it's bad. Yeah, people do say it's bad. Whereas I like watched it and I was like, this is nowhere near as bad as Bunked. So like, what about Jump In? Jump In's great. I should rewatch that because it's really good. I like Jump In a lot actually. I feel like it's pretty underrated too, especially because like Corbin Blue is in it. You think it'd be more popular than it is. Am I gonna watch Sydney to the Max? I'll probably watch the first episode. It looks pretty promising. Like I, all the trailers and stuff I've seen for it, like it looks like it'll be pretty cute. Has the Lodge season three been confirmed? No, unfortunately it has not. But I t messaged, message, I didn't message. I tweeted Disney Channel UK a couple weeks ago. And I was like, what's going on? Do y'all remember the Lodge? And they're like, yeah, we don't have any news on it yet. So like, I still have hope. Thoughts on... One second. I like Best Friends Whenever a lot. It's only time travel show movie I ever watched that had time travel rules and made sense. Ooh, that's promising. Maybe I should watch more episodes then because that's really interesting. Please watch Alexa and Katie. Uh, it's been recommended to me a few times. Is it really that good? I don't know. I don't like movies or shows, but like, illness because I don't like like romanticizing that or anything I don't know have you ever read kingdom keepers I haven't what is that so I looted our boys world you can't do that to me that's so hard I don't know they're such different shows <gasps> Uh, I don't know. That's hard. I don't like this question. <laughs> Favorite Halloween decom. Did you watch my video? 
I didn't because I don't even remember which one was number one. But if you want to know my favorite Halloween decom, go watch my video and then like come let me know which one I said was number one. Because I don't remember <laughs> which one I said was number one. Was it Phantom within the Megaplex? Invisible Sister. Oh my gosh. Yes, you're right. It was Invisible Sister. That is my favorite Halloween decom. Correct. Dun, dun, dun. Did I watch series on unfortunate events? I saw the first season and then I kept being like, oh, I should watch the other two, but I haven't. Liv or Maddie? Probably Liv. I don't know. I really like Liv. But my roommate Nina thinks I look like Maddie. And so like, that's pretty cool. I don't think that that's true at all. Duff Cameron is gorgeous. But yeah, that's what she says. Favorite Dove Cameron project? Probably Descendants. Opinion on Lemonade Mouth, the best decom of all time. I feel like Cities of the Max is trying to be like Girl Makes World. Yeah, but people said that about Andy Mac too. And like, it's quite different. So I'm excited. I feel like it'll be good. Thanks, Coralie. Thank you for watching my live. I hope you have a good night. Have you read the Descendants books? I read the first one before Descendants came out. And then the conclusion of the first book was like the same conclusion they came to in the movie. Like they basically did the exact same thing in the book as they did in the movie. Like they didn't do the same thing, but like they came to the same conclusion by the end of the film. And so that's when I decided I wasn't going to watch or I wasn't going to read the books anymore because they were kind of pointless. But I feel like they're great for younger audiences to to read the books because they're based off of Descendants and it gets them into reading. So I understand why they're a thing. And I think that that is great. Favorite Liv and Maddie ship. Liv and Holden all the way. Liv and Holden are probably one of my favorite Disney Channel ships. Like, they'll be on my top 10 list for sure. I love them a lot. Do I think that over time, DCOMs are getting better or worse? I don't think that you can say that about anything, really. I think that it's just some. sometimes they'll be good, sometimes they'll be bad. Like, that's just how things are, you know? Kingdom Keepers is... I can't read. Kingdom Keepers is seven kids battling Disney villains at night in the Disney parks. How have I not heard about that? That sounds interesting. I'll look it up. I don't know why I've never heard of that, but it sounds really cool. My friend Lexi likes him too. I don't know what you're talking about. Thoughts on Twitches? <laughs> I feel like you're probably talking about Kingdom Keepers. And now I feel bad for saying I don't know what you're talking about. Thoughts on Twitches? I think that the concept of Twitches is really good. I think that the movies were poorly done. And they're not very good. Ant Farmer, Andy Mack. Probably Andy Mack. Are you a DC fan? Not really. Because I'm not really into superheroes. I just like Spider-Man. Sometimes. Like, I don't even like all Spider-Man things. I liked the new movie. And I like the Tom Holland movies. I didn't like the Andrew Garfield movies. Is that his last name? I don't remember. Thoughts on Avalon High. Avalon High is good. I feel like it's underrated. I really like Avalon High. How do you feel about High School Musical 4 coming out? I don't think it is. They're making a TV show on the Disney streaming service, I think. I don't think they're doing a High School Musical 4. What? <sighs> Guys, I can't read your comments. <laughs> Thoughts on a Wizards reboot? That'd be cool. I don't think it'll happen, but that'd be cool. What is my favorite Disney animated show? Star vs. the Forces of Evil. I was actually just watching it again. I was re-watching it. It's such a good show. I love it a lot. Do you like Sabrina Carpenter's music? I love Sabrina Carpenter. She's one of my favorite um, musicians and just people overall. She's the best. I love her. <laughs> favorite decom character? Uh... I really, really, really relate to Olivia from Lemonade Mouth. And so probably her, but I, mean, I might need to like sit down and like think about all the characters from all the decoms. So like establish my favorite character because that's what I do <laughs> in my free time. <laughs> do you think Disney hates Rowan Blanchard? I don't think they do. I don't know why they would. She hasn't really been doing much. I guess she's really into activism and stuff, which is really cool. But like acting wise, she hasn't really been doing much, which makes me sad because she's one of my favorite actresses, but. I don't think they hate her. That would be weird for them. I don't know why they would. My sister goes to school with someone who looks like Holden Dippledore. I am so jealous. Jordan Fisher is beautiful. Would you do a video ranking theme shows theme songs? Maybe. That's it. I've seen other people do that. And so I feel like that'd be a good idea. 
I just, I don't know. I'm not very good at theme songs. Like I get sick of theme songs really easily. And so I don't know if I would actually end up doing that. Thoughts on Sky High. Nina made me watch Sky High. Um, and I don't really remember much of it. I just thought she was like begging me and begging me to watch it for so long. And then I finally did. And I think I liked it. I think it was good. Are you going to see Rent Live? Bringing up Nina again. She was like, we should watch this. And I'm like, yeah, because of Jordan Fisher. So I'll probably end up watching it because she wants to watch it. And because I love Jordan Fisher. Um, those are my thoughts on it. I'll probably watch it. Thoughts on Backstage. I watched it not that long ago. I can't remember like anything about it. Um, I think I only got to like season two or something, but I remember liking it. Thoughts on Stuck in the Suburbs? Stuck in the Suburbs is really good. I only watched it recently, but I really liked it. I like Stuck in the Suburbs. Do I like Ratatouille and Cars? I love Cars and Ratatouille. Ratatouille is very underrated. It's great, and I love cars. I'm staring at my Lightning McQueen poster. I have a Lightning McQueen poster on my wall. Thank you to Jackie. Uh, cars is the best. Ka chow Did I watch Grease live? No. I think I only saw, like, parts of it. I watched Hairspray live because of Dove and Ariana, but I don't think I watched Grease live. I think I have seen parts of it, though. Season two is the last of Backstage. Oh, so I've seen all of it? I guess I've seen all of it then. Maybe I stopped at season one. Or maybe I stopped in the middle of season two. Because I don't think I finished it. I don't know. Maybe I'll check it out. I do get comments about Backstage a lot. So I'm like, I should probably get back to that. The Princess Diaries or Princess Protection Program. That's hard. But because you just said Princess Diaries and not Princess Diaries 2, I'm going to say Princess Protection Program. But I think Princess Diaries 2 is better than Princess Diaries 1. Because Chris Pine... And the ship is better. So that is why Prince Diaries 2 is the best. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Grease Live has Jordan Fisher. Jordan Fisher isn't, he is in Grease Live. Oh, I should watch it. I don't know. Like, I don't think I was really a fan of Jordan Fisher at the time when Grease Live came out. But I am now. So maybe I will rewatch it. I don't know. I don't know. Is Backstage Disney? No. I don't know what it is, but it's not Disney. Fave decom and worst decom. Fave decom, deepcom. Fave decom is lemonade mouth. Least favorite, probably not least favorite. Just like worst, it's probably zombies. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> probably twitches. To be honest, I haven't seen all the decoms. So like, I know there's like really bad ones out there, but I don't want to watch them, so I haven't seen them. But I think twitches is not a very good movie. So. You don't like Frenemies? Frenemies is good. I like Frenemies. That makes me sad. You have to go. Well, thank you for watching, Samantha. Have a good night. Is it nighttime where you guys are? I don't know. Have you guys talked about Kim Possible? We've talked a lot about Kim Possible. <laughs> How does my baby verse of vampire not Disney Channel, but you count Soy Luna and the Lodge? Uh, Soy Luna and the Lodge are Disney Channel. They're Disney Channel. They're just not Disney Channel USA. So like the Lodge is Disney Channel UK, and Soy Luna is Disney Channel Latin America. Whereas like they were still made and produced for Disney Channel, whereas my baby sisters of vampire wasn't. Like it was made by a different company, and so that's why I don't count that as Disney Channel, but I do count the other two. I think about it as international Disney Channel, right? And so when you think about it that way, then. They do count. <laughs> what time is it where I am? I'm Eastern Standard Time, so it's 8.30. Well, almost 8.30. I have watched Violetta, and here's the thing. I did not enjoy it, so I probably will never watch it again. So <laughs> everyone being like, watch Violetta. It's not going to happen because I did not like it. Favorite Disney park? You should watch my video tomorrow to find out, because I'll talk about that in my video tomorrow. Luck of the Irish is your least favorite? I don't know. Luck of the Irish is all right. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. 
That's my verdict. You hated lemonade, though. <gasps> That's so sad. I love lemonade, though. How old am I? I am 20 years young. <laughs> Is Get a Clue the worst? I actually hardly remember Get a Clue. Like, I remember watching it, but I hardly remember it. I should probably rewatch that. El Enchanted. I love El Enchanted. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. The mirror scene, you know what I'm talking about. Like the mirror scene is the best scene from any movie ever made because it's the best and I love it a lot. Have I been to Disneyland, Tokyo? I have not. I've not been to any other Disney parks besides uh, Disney World, unfortunately. Are you excited for the Kids' Choice Awards? No. I don't really watch award shows, so... No. <laughs> Thoughts on live action Little Mermaid? I'm really excited that uh, Lynn Manuel is doing the music for it. I think that that'll be really, really great. Did you watch Milo's Murphy's Law and the Facebook crossover? Did that happen already? Did I miss it? I remember I was like, I should watch this. And then uh, I didn't, but maybe I will. <laughs> Have you watched the new Lilo and Stitch show? There's a new Lilo and Stitch show? What? What? No, no, okay, no, that's, no, I was right. There's no new Lilo and Stitch show, it's the, the old one. I think they're just re-airing it now. Anybody confirm this in the comments? Um, I love Lilo and Stitch, the series, it's really good. Called Stitch and AI, why is Google not telling me about this? What? <laughs> new, I'll put new in here. New Lilo and Stitch show. Stitch and AI. Oh my goodness. Why have I never heard of this? Oh, is it what? I'll look up. I'll look into this later. I'll give you opinions. I have never heard about this before. Have I seen Smurf Vlogs channel? Yeah, I used to watch him back during Girl Meets World time. And then I unsubscribed just because I found his videos to be a bit clickbaity and long. And I kind of stopped caring about his opinions. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's all I have to say. Thoughts on Tangled the series? I really liked the first season. And Jeremy Jordan's in it. And he's the love of my life. But I haven't watched it since it was, since the name change. I haven't watched it since then. Do I think that Maddie and Diggy had any good scenes together? Or as I like to call him, Digbert, because that's his full name. <sighs> yeah, I'm sh I mean, <laughs> in the beginning, I feel like they probably had some good scenes. I'd have to rewatch them. I did include them in one of my almost kisses because the scene was good. Like I can still appreciate a good scene even if I don't like Digbert. So like if I were to go and rewatch them, like, yeah, I'm sure they had good scenes. I just really don't like him. <laughs> Diggy was a jerk to her. You know it, Travis. You know it. Any fave Cartoon Network shows? I can't even think of, like, one for some reason. I didn't really watch Cartoon Network growing up or now. So I, none really come to mind. <laughs> Do I like kicking it? I actually watched um, the first few episodes. And I just didn't really get into it. Like, I... Like, like Olivia Holt and stuff, but I just couldn't really get into it. Computer or hand-drawn Disney movies? That's a good question. I feel like it depends what you're looking for, you know? If you want, like, a classic Disney movie, then, like, hand-drawn. If you want something newer, then computer. That's a really cop-out answer, but that's my answer. I still don't get why she went back to Diggy. Josh treated her so much better than Diggy ever did. I agree! Josh was so good. I miss that show. Thoughts on Girls World Magazine. I am not familiar with that. I'm going to Google it. Girls World Magazine. Girls World Magazine. Images. 
Oh my goodness, I bought one of these one time because it had a lodge poster in it. And I was like, oh my goodness, the lodge. Um, so that's my thoughts. Liv and Holden are the best. Thoughts on Xenon? Um, but um, um, I wish that there was a cohesive, cohesive, that's not a word. What's the word I'm looking for? Like cohesive? Consistent, that is the word I was like for consistent. I wish there was a consistent ship throughout all three movies because then I would like it a lot more. But instead there's like a new ship for like every movie. And I don't like when they do that. Any other questions? <laughs> Have you heard of the movie Five Feet Apart? You should look into it. I will. Let me Google. Five Feet Apart. Oh, is that the one with the ba -da -ba -ba Cole Sprouse? Is that what that is? Five Feet Apart. It is. I talked about this earlier because Alexa and Katie was brought up. I really don't like movies about like illnesses because I feel like it kind of romanticizes them, like The Fault in Our Stars and that kind of stuff. Like, I'm like, but Nina really wants to see it. So I'm sure I'll end up watching it. And I enjoy a good rom-com like anybody else. So I'll probably enjoy it. But it's just like, like uh, you know, <laughs> if anybody knows what the uh, <laughs> means, then you know what I mean. Have I seen The Color of Friendship? No, but I need to watch it because everybody says it's like one of the best decoms ever. What is the first Disney Channel show that comes to your head? Mm -hmm. Nina, I want to be in your live. I want to be in your live. Well, you're coming home, so you can be in my live. Uh, I forgot the question. Because <laughs> I got a text message. Who are my favorite YouTubers? Ooh, probably Danny Gonzalez and Drew Gooden. I really like the reaction sort of um, video format. Not reaction. What am I talking about? Commentary. I like the commentary commentary YouTubers, and so they're probably my favorite ones. What do I think of the scandals going on? If you're talking about a certain scandal, I think that that sucks, but I'm happy that he was fired. <laughs> um, I don't know what other scandals you could be referring to because I'm usually out of the loop. First Disney Channel show that comes to my head, that was the question, The Lodge. Cool. I think when Disney starts remaking DCOMs, they'll do Xenon first. Does Kim Possible count as a remake of a DCOM? Because technically, there are DCOMs about it. Like, not about it. They've made DCOMs for it. So technically, it's already been done. But I know it's like technically a remake of the show, but like so. Will your siblings ever be in your videos? How old and names? And also, can you do a room tour? My room is like really messy, but maybe I'll clean it one time and we can do a room tour. I've got a lot of Disney merchandise that I would love to talk to you guys about. Or maybe I could do one for my main channel. Would you guys be interested in like a room tour? Well, let me know. What was the second part? Oh, my siblings. I have lots of siblings and I love talking about them because they're my best friends ever. Um, I'm from a divorce, so I have like half siblings as well, but I just call them my full siblings because they're my full siblings. So, okay. So, first is my oldest brother. His name is Cameron. He's in his 20s. <laughs> this is good. Okay, I know. I know. He was born in 1990. So, that means he is uh, like 29, right? Math. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's how old he is. So, that's Cameron. He came first and he's married right now to Neva and she's pregnant. So, I'm going to be an aunt and I'm so excited. Um, and then there's Hannah and she was. This is bad. I don't even know my siblings' names. I mean, not names, ages. Hopefully, nobody is watching this live stream. Uh, then there's Hannah. She's three years older than me, so she's like 23. Yeah, around there. And then there's me. I'm 20 years old. And then there's my younger brother, John. <laughs> and he's 13. Yeah. And then there's my younger sister, Carrie, and she's 12. And then there's my younger sister, Clover, and she's 11. And I love them all very, very much. Do you like live action or animated more? That's a really good question. I feel like I usually go more for the live action. Like if we're talking Disney Channel shows, I feel like I usually go more for the live action shows. Just for some reason. I don't know. But um, if we're talking movies, 
like Disney movies, then I prefer the animated ones. How many Disney stars have I met? Okay. If you want to know, like, I'm just going to open my Instagram <laughs> because I usually post my pictures with them. So follow me on Instagram at Kate Loves Disney if you want to know who I've met. Okay, let's see. Olivia Holt. She was super duper nice, but very quiet. She didn't really say much. Um, China Ann McLean was like so adorably sweet. I met her at a convention and she called me baby girl and she was so adorable and gave me a nice big hug. She was adorable. Loved her. Who else? Sophia Carson. I cried my eyes out. I could not even believe it. She's one of my favorite artists of all time. And so it was so, it was so awesome to meet her. And it was so weird. She was so tiny and adorable. Um, so that's three. Uh, Sabrina. I've met Sabrina twice. And the first time was better than the second time. The first time she was a lot more personable and adorable. And I love her. And second time, I think she was just more rushed. And so that's why. But I got a really good picture with her the second time. Um, I love Sabrina a lot. I almost said Ariana Grande. She does not count U.S. Disney Channel people. Joe Jonas, he counts. I met him. Um, he was doing a meet and greet before the Selena Gomez concert. And so I met him in DNCE and I stepped on his toe. It was very embarrassing. Oh, this guy. What is his name? Uh, Ryan Ochoa. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. He is from Pair of Kings. He was the little evil guy. I met him like by a fluke because I was on a school trip in LA and he was like there. And so I'm counting him. Um, but I'm from... And that's all I have on there. But I also met, I don't think I posted this photo, but I also met Bailey Madison. And she counts because she was the girl version of Max in Wizards Waverly Place. And I think that's everybody. So that's seven Disney Channel stars. Unless I'm forgetting somebody. But I think that that's seven. And they were all super duper nice. Yeah. I don't think anybody was mean to me. Thoughts on the live action Dumbo? I'll probably see it because it's a Disney movie. <laughs> but I don't know. I'm not really looking forward to it. I don't really like Tim Burton's movies that much. And so that's kind of why I'm kind of like, hmm. Do I go to LA often? No, I've only been there once for um for a school trip in uh, in grade 12. But I'd love to go back. It was really nice. Favorite Olivia Holt movie? Probably. Is she in? A oh, there was that new one with her and uh, Ross Lynch. But probably Girl vs. Monster just because I like the music in that. Where did you get your phone case? This one? <laughs> the one that I've been playing with? Or this one on my phone? Um, I got this one at Hot Topic. I got this one from Disney World when I worked there. Michael Rondo is in LA a couple days ago. Yeah, so it was a uh, Rogerio. I don't know if I no, I don't know how to pronounce his name. That's the thing with the Soy Luna people. I always like feel like I'm pronouncing everything wrong. But I feel like he was recently in uh, LA as well, and I'm like, I want to go and see you guys, and I'd be so awkward because I don't speak Spanish, but I just want to meet you guys because I love you. Favorite Sofia Carson song? Ooh, that's a good question. Hmm, but I'm probably back to beautiful. I really like that song. I think it's really pretty. Do you think you'll make a video about your time working at Disney World? Get ready for tomorrow, my dudes. Tomorrow's video, get ready for it because it's gonna be good. I only need to make the thumbnail and then it will be done. And that's a hint as to what it's about. Favorite Descendants song would probably be If Only, cause it's really good. But I also really like You and Me and Space Between and Chillin' Like a Villain and Did I Mention. <laughs> Those are like my main, my main ones. I've ever seen the standoff. Was that the Olivia Holt? Oh, that was the Olivia Holt and Ryan McCartan one. I have seen that one, yeah. Was that the question? Have I seen it? Yeah, seen it. <laughs> Favorite Disney soundtrack ever. Uh, do you mean like Disney Channel or do you mean Disney like uh, animated movies? Because Disney animated movies, then it would be Tarzan. But Brother Bear is a close second because it's also by Phil Collins. Um, but if we're talking like DCOM or Disney Channel, ooh, that's hard. For some reason, my brain's like, let it shine. But I don't even feel like I like that album that much. I just like a few songs on it. I think it's because we were talking about let it shine earlier. 
What do you think of Mal's dad? Is it Hades? <laughs> That's all I think about it. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see the movie. But um, I think it's cool that she's, um, if, if it is Hades, I think it's cool that she's going to have two villain parents. Where do you watch Soy Luna? Can I give you a link here? Put this in the comments. So if anyone else wants to watch Soy Luna, you can watch it on there. Yeah. You better click on that before that comment goes away. <laughs> uh, Soy Luna ENG is actually my website that I translate the show for you. But if you want to watch, I only have like 14 episodes, but I'm like five minutes done on episode 15. So I'm almost in episode 15. Um, I forget what I was talking about. Soy Luna. Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. Um, Soy Luna, you can watch it there. But I also can, uh, there's also a tutorial on there of how you can watch it um, with Google Translate subtitles. So you can like just binge the whole first two seasons. You want to watch Andy Mac, but you don't know where you can watch it. I think it's on um, Disney Now, isn't it? You could probably watch it on there if you're in the States. Have I ever seen Joanna Sedia? I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right, but I have seen a couple of her videos. I think she's really cool, really awesome, down to earth. Um, that's all I have to say from that. I have mixed feelings on Mal dad's storyline because people are going to want to know the other kids, other parent. But I feel like people have always wanted to know that since the beginning. Um, and that just gives us an excuse to make more movies. <laughs> Do you play any instruments? Um, I took like piano lessons, like all throughout elementary school, not all throughout, on and off. Um, I wouldn't say I can play piano, but I have played piano. That's about it. What do I think of the new series Fastlane? I thought it was um, interesting. Um, I didn't know it was gonna be a mini series. And so in the last trailer, when they're like, new miniseries, I was like, what does that mean? Does that mean that they're going to be shorter episodes? Or does that mean that it's going to be like a smaller series, like overall? Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I don't know. The car kind of reminds me a little bit of Stan from Dog with the Ball. But like, Dog with the Ball isn't bad either. I just, not really my cup of tea. And I feel like there's not going to be any good ships. So like, oh, is it worth my time? You know? When does the sentence 3 come out? This summer. We don't know the date yet, but it's coming out this summer. Is it snowing there? It is snowing insane amounts. This last weekend, it was like crazy, crazy snow. And then tonight it's supposed to freezing rain and I have to drive with Nina to get groceries. And it's gonna suck because the roads are bad. <laughs> but yeah, it's snowing a lot and it's really cold. Um, and it makes me sad because like this past winter hasn't been like too bad. And then now it's just like crazy, crazy cold. What is your favorite Selena Gomez song? That's a really good question. I have a lot of favorites. I really like Ghost of You from like way back, Selena Gomez in the same time. Um, and Middle of Nowhere is another really, really old one that I really like. Um, and then on her new album, I really like Rise. I thought that that one was really good. Do I support Auntie Pitbull? I don't know what that is. So let me Google that. Auntie Pitbull, what's that? Let's find out. You learn something new every day. Oh my God. Anti Pitbull. Oh. Oh, is it like a thing to be like, don't be anti Pitbull? That's cool. <laughs> I have no other thoughts. Am I a lesbian? No, I like boys. Thoughts on Dad Napped? Oh my goodness, I have not seen Dad Napped in so long. Dad Napped is good. Um, that's about all I have to say. What's my zodiac sign? I'm a Leo. I was born in August, and that makes me a Leo. Have you noticed how the newer Disney Channel actors are younger? Yeah, and I'm actually, I actually think that's really cool because I don't like when they cast people that are like way too old for like the character they're supposed to play. Like what's his face from uh, Hannah Montana, who was actually like 30. The guy that played Jackson. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like that. I feel like it's not as um, authentic. So I think it's cool that they are casting them the actual age that they're playing. Did you ever see Midnight Sun? I did see Midnight Sun. I remember I went and saw it with my friend Katie, which you guys know from some of my videos. Um, 
and we both like cried our eyes out and then walked into the theater like that movie was not that great but it both got us to cry so i'm not too sure what that says about us mary poppins returns i haven't seen mary pop i haven't seen i haven't seen mary poppins returns um but i've heard really great things i'm just not a very big mary poppins fan so that's why i haven't seen it I know you say you didn't like Violetta, correct. But have you listened to the soundtrack of Teeny the movie? Because it was pretty good. I just, I don't like Violetta. <laughs> and I don't really want to get into another um, telenovela because Soy Luna is a lot. Maybe like in a couple years, I'll try Violetta and uh, give it a watch. I didn't think Midnight Sun was very good. It wasn't. It was not a very good movie, but uh, that's all right. Coop and Cammy. I was actually very pleasantly surprised by Coop and Cammy. Like I saw the first three episodes because I was going to do a video on it, which I still might. I think that would be a good video for uh, Is It Trash? Because I know a lot of people were saying that it was trash. And I was I actually sat down and watched it. And I was like, it's actually pretty good. Like it's got some good lessons in it and stuff. I just think that the, the premise of it threw a lot of people off. But it's actually a pretty good show. Have I seen Saving Mr. Banks? Yeah, I have. It's a good movie, but it's a complete lie. <laughs> Have I seen Hamilton? I wish. I really like the music in Hamilton, but I've never never gotten the chance to see it. Everyone keeps asking me to make thoughts on the what's his face from Andy Mack getting fired. And my thoughts are it's good that he got fired because he did a bad thing. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Have I seen A Wrinkle in Time? I did see A Wrinkle in Time, and I saw it with Nina when it came out, and I remember being like, that was really good, and I'm really sad that it's not going to go anywhere because I feel like it'd be a cool series, but I don't think it will because I don't think it did very well. You're watching me from Venezuela. That's cool. That's really far away from me. It's probably a lot warmer there than it is here. It's very cold and icy and slippery here. What was your favorite decom and Disney show when I was a kid? I feel like probably... Wizards, because Wizards was one of my favorites, it still is one of my favorites now. And then DCOM would probably be Princess Protection Program or Wizards movie, because I was obsessed. I still am, but I was very even more obsessed with Selena Gomez, so I would probably just say one of those, because she was in it. I used to say my favorite movie was Monte Carlo, because Selena Gomez was in it. Um, I don't think I agree with that today, but I do still love her. Do you think Mal's dad will physically be in the movie or just a voice? No, I'm pretty sure it's that guy that's playing Hades, right? We're all we're all pretty sure that her dad's going to be Hades. Far from home. I don't know what that is. Let me Google it. Far from home. Far from home. Oh, the Spider-Man trailer! I did see it! I don't know why my mind didn't go. You didn't put Spider-Man in there. That's why I didn't think that it was uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. But if I was a true Spider-Man fan, I would have just known that relationship come together. Because they're really cute. A Cinderella story or another Cinderella story? Probably a Cinderella story. I've been thinking for a while about doing a video about um, like all the Cinderella stories. And I think the Selena one would be my favorite one. But I am biased to Selena, so I'm just not. Are you Googling so much stuff in this video? Listening, Ashley, listening. Listen, Ashley, I am learning a lot today and I'm really happy about it because uh, y'all are teaching me about new things and we're learning together and it's been a good time. Do you like work for Disney? Um, I guess technically I work for Disney. I work at my Disney store that's near my house and it's pretty fun. And I used to work over the summer at Walt Disney World, which you will hear more about in tomorrow's video. We love to educate. That's funny. What state do I live in? I don't live in a state. I live in Canada, which is a country. Did you see Into the Spider-Verse? I did. It was really good. I really liked it. Worst to best of HM Trilogy. That's really hard because I feel like they're all really, really close for me. Like, it's really hard for me even to pick a favorite. So, I'm not going to answer that question, so I don't know why I read it. I wish I could go to Canada. You can go to Canada. You can make your dreams become dreams. Just do it. That, that's my advice. What time is tomorrow's video EST? It'll probably be up at around 3. Yeah, I'll probably post it around 3. The only thing I need to do is make a thumbnail. Like, the video is basically done. 
Lucy Hill's Cinderella story is really, really good. It's probably my second favorite. It would probably be, okay, I'll rank that one from worst to best, even though there's not really any worse one. And also nobody asked me to do this. I'm just doing it anyways. Favorite one is another Cinderella story with Selena Gomez. Second favorite is Lucy Hale's. Third favorite is Hilary Duff. And then I'm really sorry, Sophia Carson, but yours is my last favorite, which makes me sad because I really like the songs in that one, but apparently it's my least favorite. Do I watch any teen dramas? Ooh, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> um, I can't think of any for some reason off the top of my head. Um, Nina keeps getting me, trying to get me to watch uh, Vampire Diaries and I started it and then I never continued it. Oh, Shadowhunters, that's a teen drama. Watch Shadowhunters, that one's really good and it was filmed in Toronto, Canada, represent. Do I like Stranger Things? No, I won't watch it because I don't like scary things. <laughs> Everyone's like, Stranger Things isn't even that scary. And I'm like, I don't care. I don't do scary things. <laughs> 16 Wishes isn't a decom, even though it's advertised as one. Yeah, that's correct. Vampire Diaries is terrible. I mean, I didn't think it was that bad. Have I been to the U.S.? I have been to the U.S. a couple times. I'm right by the border. Not right by. It's a little bit of a ways. But I've been to the U.S. a couple times. I lived there over the summer. Do you think Stuck in the Middle ended too quickly? I didn't really watch Stuck in the Middle, although I did hear some good things about it. I just didn't think that there was any good enough ships to um, make me watch it. But um, I know a lot of people were sad that it ended when it did, so that kind of sucks. People are asking about Twilight. I don't know why. Um, what about it? I've actually never seen it. I haven't seen any of the Twilights. Fun fact about me, and I probably never will. What's your favorite Disney Channel show? Probably Soy Luna. Thoughts on Best Friends? Whenever I already kind of touched on it, but um, I never watched it, and then people always said it was bad, so I assumed it was bad, and then I watched it, and I found out it wasn't even that bad, so I'll probably make a video on it. Have you watched Escape Room? I haven't, but it's been... I feel like audibly exclaimed when someone said that stuff. What was the thing? Was ter Vampire Diaries was terrible? How oh. rude. Nina's really mad that you said Vampire Diaries was terrible. She really likes it. She just scared, the she scared me a lot. <laughs> Somebody earlier said don't cuss, and so I'm like, oh, I can't cuss. Don't Twilight suck. Things I probably won't. What do you think about Nick's for life? I don't know what that is. And I don't want to Google it. Hi! On the way home. <laughs> on the subway? You could yeah. get Wi Fi? Yeah. Huh. Nina was watching me on her way home because she's the biggest fan. <laughs> I've like got way more comments on here than I do on Instagram. Yeah, y'all should follow me on Instagram because I do lives on there like way more. But this is more fun because people are actually commenting. Was that Nina? That is Nina. She just got home from work. Um, We have to go grocery shopping tonight, so I'll probably leave soon. But this is really fun. We should do this more often. <laughs> do you think, who, do you know who Nick Jonas is? I have diabetes and he does too. I remember that being such a thing when I was little because I was such a Jonas Brothers stan. But, um... But he had diabetes. And then in his uh, Who I Am video where he's like, I'm diabetic. And I'd be like, that's right, you are, Nick. You know? Yeah? Sorry, I'm, not, <laughs> I'm watching you earlier. <laughs> Casey Undercover was great. See, okay, my thing with Casey Undercover is it's basically a live-action Kim Possible, right? Right? So why do we need a live-action Kim Possible when we had Casey Undercover? That's what I have to say. Have you seen the live action Little Mermaid? It's not actually Disney and it was not even related to the Disney, but still. Um, I haven't seen it because I heard it was really bad. So, and they shouldn't have called it Little Mermaid. Like, that's just, uh, no. Uh, how old am I? People keep asking how old I am. Nina. Sorry, what? People keep asking how old I am. How do you feel about that? I think you're about 20 years old. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just wanted to make a snowball. I don't know what that means. Kate is secretly 12. Could you imagine? That'd be really funny. <laughs> if I'm like, oh, I'm 20, but I'm like, I'm actually 10. I haven't even finished watching it, but so far, I think it's horrible. Erin, I don't know what you're talking about. What haven't you finished watching? 
Do I watch any Nickelodeon shows? I mentioned this earlier, but I've watched Zoe 101. I have the whole series on DVD because I think it's one of the best shows of all time. And then also Victorious and iCarly. And then Sam and Cat, but I didn't, I don't know. Looking back, I'm like, that show wasn't that great. Try watching Twilight. You may like it. Will I, though? Someone else said it's horrible, so. These are conflicting. These are conflicting? That makes no sense. I also love Danny Gonzalez and Drew Gooden. They're the best, Slime! I listen to that all day, every day. I love Slime. It's so good. Okay, people need to stop asking me about Riverdale. I don't like Riverdale. <laughs> I do, however, really like the... Um, what? Some people are asking for me. <laughs> yeah, people were like, is she home? She is home. Uh, oh my gosh, I keep doing this. I'm so bad. I'll like, be talking about something and I get distracted and then like completely forget what I was talking about. Riverdale. I do like watching the videos online where it's like Veronica Lodge saying really dumb things for three minutes straight. I laugh so hard. It's so good. So I like the, the funny things we can get out of Riverdale. Sorry. You should shout out oh, Ashley Mina. Short because she wants to see my face. No, don't show oh, okay. me. <laughs> um, you, uh, somebody's asking me if I ever watched Degrassi. No, because she's not smart. I should, though. Degrassi's, like, one of Nina's favorite shows, and so she's always like, Caitlin, watch Degrassi. And I'm like, I have to finish Soy Luna first. It's going to take me a million years, but I have to finish Soy Luna first. Okay, but there's a lot of episodes of Degrassi as well, just so you know. <laughs> okay. It's, like, 16 seasons with 20 episodes each. It's like more than so long. but they're only. Is it? I was gonna say because Soylent is sixty minutes long, so like, yeah. is it really? I would say it would. I, I still think it's more hours. Somebody asked me for a room tour. Do you think I could do that? <laughs> yeah, her room is really, really clean, guys. <laughs> can you hear Nina? Because it says that I, I'm only at like two. I can two... hear myself. Oh, okay, cool. I just want to make sure that your comments are being heard. <laughs> okay, I've been missing a lot of comments. Degrassi's also Canadian, so that's great. I have been in her videos. Yeah, she's been in um uh but um bum 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 the bum. ultimate Yeah, the decon quiz one. And you've been in as um a background voice in Ship It or Rip It. Literally all your videos I'm the background voice. That's too. true. Are you okay? Yeah, your voice sounds sick. yeah. Oh, Is your throat been hurting or? No, I'm just thirsty. Oh. Thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> Has Nina been in any vids? Oh, we just answered the question. Yeah, I'm seeing the comments faster than me. I was gonna say, does because I always wonder that when I watch live streams, I'm like, why don't like they answer my comments? I think that you guys see the comments before I see the comments. That's the verdict. Who is your Disney crush? Oh my goodness, that is such a good question. I love talking about my Disney crushes. Jordan Fisher, obviously. Uh, Jeremy Jordan, because he counts, because he's entangled the series. And Chris Pine, because he also counts, because he's in The Prince Diaries 2 and Into the Woods. Those are my loves. Also Tanner Z, but he doesn't count. Have you heard of How to Rock or Drake and Josh? Is How to Rock a uh, Nickelodeon show? I feel like I've heard of it, but I have, like, no idea what it is. Drake and Josh, I remember liking, I'd, like, watch it a little bit as a kid, but, like, oh it wasn't Carrie, one of my favorites. Carrie's something. Carrie's here? Yeah. Oh my gosh, where is she? Carrie. Like, Y'all haven't seen you in five ever. <laughs> Carrie Salador, your comment isn't coming up. Soy Luna is a great show for my family because we're Cuban. Soy Luna is a <laughs> Soy Luna is a great show for everybody. I love Soy Luna. Have you heard of the Pixar theory? If so, what are your thoughts? I have heard of the Pixar theory. I think it's a really fun theory. I just recently watched Seamus Gorman's video where he's like, the Pixar theory is dead now. That's not really what he said, but I watched that video recently, and so now that's what comes to mind. But I remember watching that video, and because he, he's kind of saying how, like, Pixar doesn't have as much story to talk about. Or as I'm like, maybe you just haven't searched hard enough, Seamus. Carrie, hi! Do you have any questions? I don't know why you'd have questions. That's my sister. Remember earlier I was, like, talking about my family? I can't see this yet. <laughs> it's funny because right now what they're seeing is you first initially saying hi to Katie. Oh, wow. That's really fine. Okay. So, uh, bum, bum, bum. I started doing this thing when I, like, kind of go off track where I start singing the Harry Potter theme song, which is really weird for me because I have not. I've seen two Harry Potter movies, and I've read the first book. Like, that's it. Yes, Nina? i just like to shout out Ninja Char Char because... That person keeps saying Nina the best. Nina is the best. I love her so much. Um, did you want to go grocery shopping? Or? I do. Okay. But you're not done yet. I mean, we can be done whenever I want to be done. True. But there was a question I was talking about. I don't remember what it was. 
Oh, geez. He just yelled. <laughs> <laughs> it was about Carrie. Oh, yeah. Earlier, I was talking about all my siblings, and she's one of them. <laughs> if you could be on a show, which one? Does it have to be canceled, or can it still be going? Or wait, that's not what I meant to say. Can it have been a canceled show or an ended show? Because if it's been an ended show, then I would choose Soy Luna because that is my favorite show ever. <laughs> or Boy Meets World. Were you and Nina be friends before you came roommates? Story time! Okay, so Nina and I met in first year university. We were on the same... You coming in? Hi, guys! <laughs> <laughs> we were in the same... Um, floor of our dorms and we immediately became best friends that's not really true we like <laughs> immediately became like well we were like we had no friends and so we were like let's be friends and then we we're you know why we were friends because I wanted to go to that Disney Channel flashback yeah thing. so at my school they were doing like this Disney flashback thing where they were showing like episodes of like Hannah Montana and what was the show it that's was, a Raven it was Oh, yeah. No, that was a different thing. There was another thing <laughs> that they did that, but this was, they were playing High School Musical, and uh, People Nina's were like, singing along. Yeah. Like, 20-year-olds like, singing. Oh, my gosh. It's so funny that we met because of Disney Channel, and now I have a channel about Disney Channel. That's so funny. Um, so, yeah, she was like, there's this flashback event thing that they're having. Do you want to go see it with me? And I was like, I have no friends, so sure. And then she's, we bonded, and we, like, realized that we both really like DCOMs. That's literally how we both, that's so crazy. And then um we're both like our only friends in where we live and so we're like let's be roommates and then now we're roommates living the dream what's your favorite disney movie my favorite like if we're talking about disney animated movies it would probably be bolt or meet the robinsons or emperor's new groove or tangled those are like my faves thoughts on the princess switch thanks carrie the princess switch disappointed me in many ways. Number one, Gabriela Montez doesn't even sing. I called her Gabriela Montez. <laughs> Vanessa Hudgens doesn't even sing in it. Number two, the ships were not that great. And so that made me sad. Like the one guy, sorry, it's been a while since I watched this movie and I'm really trying to think about it. Um, the one guy basically like thought he was falling in love with his best friend. <clears throat> Turns out it's not his best friend. And so he's like, I guess I like you anyways. That makes no sense. Also, number three, the prince wasn't even that cute. Happy birthday. Is it someone's yeah, birthday? Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> Thank birthday. you. I just turned 23. <laughs> Those oh, glasses look good on awesome. you. Thank you. Thanks. They're kind of new, even though they're not really. But for me, they're kind of new because I had the same glasses for like so long. And so I'm always like, yeah, but if I new glasses, well, they're not new. Have you played Disney seen it? It's so much fun. I have. I actually have Disney Channel seen it as well, which is also equally as fun. Have you played? Oh, I just read that question. Thoughts on Hatching Pete? Hatching Pete is so good. That's a quality film. What school did you guys go to? Because I can't wait for a little Disney Channel week. I'm not going to say which school I go to. We go to Harvard. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for now, Nina says we go to Harvard. Uh, no, it wasn't like a Disney week. It was like, um, so this event was first year. It was a flashback thing. They're doing high school musical. But then I was getting confused because the next year they did a flashback thing as well. And they were playing like old episodes. Like they played Hannah Montana and That's the Raven. It's like this one group that like does this thing. You say the next week or the next year? Did I say the next week? It was the next year. I meant the next year. The next year they did um, oh, a flashback. Oh, is it your birthday? <laughs> um, they did the flashback thing. And we went again, even though like it's a frosh event. So like you're only supposed to go when you're in first year. But we're like, let's go to that again because uh, we can. Jonas L.A., quality show. Wait, you have glasses? Yeah, they're <laughs> on my face. See? That was a bad joke. Have I seen Bird Box? No. I was going to watch it, and then I didn't. Well, at first I was like, I'm not going to watch it. It's a horror movie. I don't like horror movies. I don't like scary things. But then Jackie, my best friend, well, like, all my friends are my best friends. But Jackie, you guys know from some of my videos. We haven't done a video with Jackie in so long. Jackie, yeah, do. she's studying right now, so she's not watching this. But I should do another video with Jackie. Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh, my gosh, I did it again. Bird Box. She watched it and she was like, it's not even that scary. Like, I'm sure it'll be fine for you. And I was like, okay. And then I still haven't done it yet. Jesus. It's not my birthday, guys. 
People are saying happy birthday to you. <laughs> That's funny. Thoughts on Minutemen? Good film. It's one of Jackie's favorites. Speaking of Jackie Cooney. There's lots of cootie. <laughs> Have I seen Once Upon a Time? Yeah, I really liked it up until the underworld. I really liked it up until the underworld stuff. It kind of went. Oh, yeah. No, you're right. I, was, I thought you were talking about Peter Pan, and I was like, no, that was the best. No, the Peter Pan <laughs> season was the best season of Once Upon a Time, by far. Um, I went to the Once Upon a Time convention when they were in town, and I... Uh, Got to meet Emily DeRaven, and that was adorable. That's a weird way to describe it, adorable, but it was good. And then I also... Jackie's still watching. Hi, Jackie. Um, and then I also... Um, ba -dum -bum -bum -bum. See? Why do I do that? Uh, I was also supposed to meet Colin O'Donoghue, but then he canceled, and then I didn't get to meet him. Who's that? He plays Hook. Ooh. Spanish. No comprendo nada. As I can actually read that. See, I'm taking Spanish classes and I can actually read what that said. So I'm proud of myself. And I'm really sorry that you can't understand anything because I'm speaking English, but I don't know Spanish enough yet. But hola. Uh, yo como manzanas. That's all I know how to say. And um, como se dice. I know that. And hasta la próxima clase because we always say that at the end of my Spanish class. Um, Yo, Tavian, hablo espanol. Oh, gracias. <laughs> I'm trying. Oh, I love Young and Hungry. When's it coming back? It's been on break for like ever. Or did it end? I'm confused. Should I Google that? No, someone said I Googled too much in this video. So I'm, I'm not going to Google it. But I love Young and Hungry. It's like one of my favorite shows. And Baby Daddy. Baby Daddy is really good too. And she also has seen to all the boys that I've loved before. Mm, yeah. It doesn't like it. It's not that I don't like to all the boys I love before. I just think the book is so much better. And then everyone's overhyping the movie when I'm like, guys, read the book. It was so good. And then they like change a lot of stuff in the movie that made the book so good. And so then I'm like, and then they kind of ruin the second book in the first movie. And now they're making a sequel. But I'm like, that makes no sense. Also, the second book isn't even that good. So like the second week isn't going to be that good. That's my rant. It is golden. I know. It's so good. Who said that? Thai Girl Forever has some quality commentary. Happy birthday, Ashley. <laughs> it's Ashley's birthday. Happy birthday, Ashley. Wait, I missed the comment from Gary. I said I liked the apples thing to my friend and a border student and from Mexico looked at me and said, I understood that. That is my favorite story you've ever told me. And it's not I, I, I like apples, Gary. It's I eat apples. Yo como manzanas. I eat apples. <laughs> what would it be like uh me gusta manzanas would be i like apples so if you want to say that next time me gusta manzanas or would it be yo gusto manzanas yeah sorry say that again. would it be yo gusto manzanas or me gusta manzanas? uh me yeah okay say that carrie say that next time did you read the sound hunters the Shadow Hunters books. I started the first one like seven million times and I could never get through it, but I love the show. <laughs> Ooh, El uh, Portuguese Master. I'm it's no, Portuguese. No, I don't know those words. <laughs> <laughs> You're so pretty. Thank you, Caroline. You're so pretty too. Young and Hungry movie got canceled too. They were gonna make a movie. What? I didn't know that. Would you ever dye your hair? I actually did like um story time. I did uh if y'all are familiar, I recently cut my hair and so my hair was recently like here and then I cut it off because I did the tips thing. What's that called? Auburn. And I did like lighter and it like really damaged my hair and I was like not ready for it. I mean, it's probably cuz I take a lot of showers because I like to be clean. Um and you're not supposed to do that when you have like color treated hair because it can like damage it a lot faster but because I did that but like it got like really really dead ends and so I cut it all off and I don't think I could ever dye my whole head because I don't think I could deal with like that much damage what's your damage what's that from uh I think it's a uh, another Cinderella story she's like what's your damage Mary what's your favorite sitcom hmm is Boy Meets World a sitcom <laughs> Yeah. What in the world is a sitcom, right? 
Yeah. Boy meets world. They got chubbies. They sit there. Yeah. What grade are you in? I'm not in a grade. <laughs> You're in grade. <laughs> Wait, what's so grade 12, 13? I'm technically in grade 15. Unless you're from Quebec. Oh, yeah. Nina's from Quebec, so, like, schooling's different. I'm in university, and I'm in third year university, so I've got one more year left, and then I'm going to cry because I don't, what to, I don't know what to do with the rest of my life. Steve Henry says most girls are gold diggers. I don't think that's true, sir. What do you think of me, Nina? <laughs> Who are you talking to in the comments? <laughs> or is that you asking me? I think you're my best friend. I love you. Boy Meets World is my favorite show ever. Followed by Glee. Oh my gosh, remember Glee? Cool. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm like so Thoughts on Shane Dawson's conspiracy series? I'm really excited for it. How many more days? I don't know, but not that many more days, and I'm excited for it. I like Shane Dawson. What doing? I'm just sitting. What you doing? Why are people hashtagging Quebec trip? Maybe because it's like a thing. Oh, wait, no. Earlier, somebody said something else about that, too. Guys, explain to me the meme. I want to be in on it. It's a lot easier for good looking and rich guys to get a GF. How do you feel about that? I don't care about money, <laughs> but good looking people, I mean, I would say so. Okay, but I would take a good looking poor guy right now. Is that bad? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but I also think good looking is a matter of like perspective. Like different people find different people attractive. So you can't just say like good looking. Just overall, because that's not true. Hey, Eric, she's 20. Oh my gosh, somebody else asked how old I am? <laughs> Guys, you should know this by now. It's been an hour and 30 minutes. It's been an hour and 30 minutes. We should go grocery shopping. What's your name? What's my name? I think it's Disney. Disney loves Kate. That was a bad <laughs> joke. <laughs> I forgot that the store closes soon. Yeah, we should go. Austin and Allie should have gotten together, didn't they? <laughs> Did they get married? Uh, what's my favorite Descendants movie? The first one. I think it'll always be the first yeah, one. Well, it was like a school project. Oh. Yeah. Go back trick. Yeet. Oh, I remember. It was because earlier, um, I was like, someone's like, I've never been to Canada. I'm like, go. And then someone else said, go back trip. Yeet. And the... Uh, that's how it, it must started. be a meme. It must be. We're always out of the loop. But if you are going to Quebec, are you going to Montreal? Because, like, don't hit me up. That'd be weird. <laughs> <laughs> Does your boyfriend use Gillette razors? I don't know. I don't have a boyfriend. I feel like that's a joke about the new commercial, but I'm just, like, sad okay. and triggered because I don't have a boyfriend and I want one. <sighs> Do you like horror movies? Nope. Have I seen Escape the Night? I haven't. That's Joey Graceffa's thing, right? Joey is mean. It doesn't really care about the content he makes. Really? Spill the tea. Goodbye, Carrie. Goodbye, Carrie. I love you forever. What ship in Grumman's World do you think should have been the new Corpanga? Oh, it should have been um, Farkle and Riley all the way. How would you like to have a dance there? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Show your tongue. Why? Oh, I see what Ashley's trying to do. What? She's trying to get other people to say happy birthday. Why? <laughs> have I seen Watso videos? Is that the... Which one is that? Is that one of them countdown channels or is that an actual good channel? I guess I'm a countdown channel. <laughs> But I, I think I'm a good channel. What's my favorite song? I really like La Diva de la Escuela by Michael Ronda right now. Um, and Slime by Danny Gonzalez. <laughs> he makes Disney theories. Okay, yeah, I think I've seen his video about Angel, um, the character from Lilo and Stitch the series, because 
we saw a lot of Angel plush at the Disney store. And I was like, I want to know more about Angel because I feel like I didn't know enough about her. And I, that was a good video because I got a lot of knowledge in about Angel. Happy birthday, Dita. I know. <laughs> I'm so confused. It's like those people that go, I don't, never mind, I'll tell you after. Is it not PG? You're the best channel. Thanks, and me. Emmanuel, that's your name. Thank you. Most females would much rather date disrespectful, good-looking dudes than respectful, less average-looking dudes. I don't like these assumptions you're making, Steve. Yeah, Steve. What are you doing here, Steve? I feel like you don't belong. <laughs> We're talking about Disney, not about what you think girls are into. I think you should address this Fuller House um, uh, comment. What Fuller House comment? I don't know if there's been five. Okay, people like Fuller House? I have not seen it. <laughs> um, I remember I have like this memory of when I was little and I'm watching Full House with my aunt on a pink like portable DVD player. And it was pretty good. Dang, I thought you were talking about me when you said Emmanuel. I agree though. Maybe I was. You'll never know. <laughs> that face. What? I'm seeing everything happen like two seconds after yeah. you do it. Your face is great. <laughs> Thanks. Do I like Rosanna Pansino? She's like so happy. Like I've seen a few videos of her and she's always so happy. And I'm, it's like it's inspiring, you know? I wish I was that happy. Do I play Fortnite? <laughs> no. <laughs> Fortnite's the best. The only games I play are The Sims. Bye, Jennifer. Thanks for tuning in. You also play Sing It. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ninja goes to a school named Quebec Trip. That makes sense. No! I don't think that's it. <laughs> hey, Emmy. How's it going? <laughs> Should we go grocery shopping? What time is it? 9.20. Oh. I'm having I'm fun. fun. <laughs> we can go grocery shopping tomorrow. None of this stuff is nerd stuff. Javier Carlos Rodriguez. Why am I into nerd stuff? Because I'm actually attractive? That was his comment? Yeah. What the? I can't swear because earlier I promised a commenter who was 11 that I wouldn't swear. So I'm not going to swear. But that makes no sense. Look at his next comment. Dump my friends and see if I can go out with Ryan Reynolds. What does that even mean? Is he married? <clears throat> also, he's like not as good Also, as what Ryan does that have to do with my friends? friends? Okay, people keep asking about your Harry Potter house, but you need to what? let them Ooh, down. I'm Hufflepuff. Why would that be letting them down? <laughs> Sorry, what? Why would that be letting them down? Because you don't know anything about her. But... I know that Hufflepuffs are particularly good finders. That is true. <laughs> Do you watch any CW shows? Jane the Virgin. It's weird because I can hear myself. Oh, you, you can? Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thoughts on the Lion Guard? Okay, so I worked in a particular place in Walt Disney World that I'm not going to say because y'all need to watch my video tomorrow. But I worked in a particular place where we sold a lot of Lion Guard stuff, and so that's my thoughts on it. Okay. Why don't you answer any questions? I'm reading. I want to get through a good one. My phone died. So I don't know if you answered already, but have you played Disney seen it? I did answer already. And um, sorry that your phone died because you got to miss my great response. So I'll repeat it again for you. I have Disney Channel seen it as well. And that one's even better because you can do it with Disney Channel. And who doesn't like Disney Channel? I do. So. Hi, girl. Forever said we should do a grocery store live. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go grocery shopping. We haven't been grocery shopping in like since like before Christmas, we really need to go, but uh, we haven't. What was I gonna say? Thai girl forever. Does your name have to do with like Thai girls? Like, does anybody know what I'm talking about? There was this thing that Thai like Bean Babies they did, but they were like dolls and they were plush dolls, and there was like an online thing, 
And does anybody know what I'm talking about? Why is everyone think thoughts? I don't know what that can, means. Can you, can you like block this guy? I don't know. That's the Steve guy. Oh yeah, we don't like him. Let's see you later. Sorry. And it's not even everybody. It's just him that was saying that. Okay. Yeah, it's like it's like crude. Oh, should I not have said that? I, I don't know. But I don't know what he, it means. he shouldn't have said it. Okay. Remove. Thank you, Aaron. Oh, I can only remove one comment. Can I like get rid of you? Sorry. Everybody Spam. report Steve. No, I already did, so he's gone. Bring us grocery shopping. <laughs> I feel like that would be I, boring. I, I bet you didn't tech, check, but I texted you earlier to do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I think I did see it. If you could continue one show from Disney Channel, what would it be? Probably Soy Luna. No, I'm just kidding. I feel like Soy Luna, there's a lot of episodes. I don't think we need any more. Um, oh, Grommet's World. I don't know why it took me so long to think about that. Grommet's World definitely needed another season. Eric. I'm Nina, her roommate. You're welcome. <laughs> we need a grocery store haul after. <laughs> I love you guys. You're so funny. Oh, you're going away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I won't stop moving. Report. This is fun, reporting people. <laughs> I just know that there's young kids watching, so I'm trying to be good in the comments, but sometimes I miss people. Who do you ship on Jane the Virgin? I've been, someone already asked me that and I wanted to say, God, it's really, really hard. Um, But Petra and Jane though, not Jane, Jane the Virgin, but Jane, the other Jane. Also, I'm not, I need to watch the next season before. Like honestly, Jane and Michael forever, but we don't know if, I'm gonna spoil it for people who haven't seen it. We don't know if the new Michael is, is the same Michael. Does that spoil it? I guess not, because you don't really know what I'm talking about. But Jane and Michael. Forever. <clears throat> Tourbillon. Oh, shit. Shoot. That's not a song. She's saying, uh, La Roda, La Roda, La Roda, La Roda, La Roda, Mi Vida. That song. See, I always have a problem with, um, like, I always think I'm pronouncing Soy Luna songs wrong. And so I'll sing them instead because I feel like I could pronounce them right if I sing them. She oh my gosh, not... how can I like get rid of someone forever? Can I ban them from commenting? Put user on timeout. <laughs> yeah, you're getting a timeout because you're saying inappropriate things. Yeah, so we all want to know why you haven't watched Vampire Diaries. I'm listening we to all? myself. Someone else said they hated it, so I don't think that that's true. Um, I haven't gone around to it. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. Who am I banning? Just I don't like people being inappropriate in the comments because there's someone earlier said that they're like 11 and they asked me not to cuss, so I don't want other people cussing in the comments. Do I know James Charles? I don't know James Charles, but I watched his videos before. <laughs> you should continue the vampire days. Sorry, I'm on the. Please do a love triangle video. Oh my goodness, I keep forgetting to do that. I'm gonna put that in my notes. Let's see how they um. <clears throat> Sorry, I was reading a text. I have a whole thing. I'll show you guys. It might be in she, here. She's whole in video mind. ideas notes and so i'm gonna put that in there so i don't forget what were you saying oh they keep asking if you're maya or riley i feel like you're a maya me yeah really i haven't seen the show so how <laughs> okay so i'll describe them to you. oh my gosh i need to write this down before i ever get love triangle video what would you guys want like a love triangle video do you want like a top 10 love triangles or would you want like just me talking about them like let me know your thoughts so maya is like um we decided that badass was not a bad word. Yeah. Okay. So Maya's like kind of badass, edgy, like hardcore. Whereas Riley is like really like goody two shoes, always happy, always positive. Are you listening to me? I am twice. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get rid of Steve, man. Okay, I will. I'll put him on timeout. Like I go to touch the comment and then other people comment. 
Top 10. Okay. <clears throat> top 10. Okay. So I'm not sure if I would do like top 10 love triangles like worst or best. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like there's good love triangles and there's bad love triangles. I'm not too sure what it would be. What would I have wanted to happen in Ski Lodge? I'm not going to say anything because, like I said earlier, Nina and I are watching Boy Meets World. And then she's going to watch Boy Meets World for the first time. So I'm not going to say anything. But ask me that next time and then I'll probably answer. Okay, so I just like to stay, say there's this guy in the comments named Steve Rudy, and we are not against you. You are awesome. We are against this other guy. Oh. Yeah. Same. <laughs> Worst moment in favorite Disney shows. I feel like that's a good idea. I just don't know. It'd be hard for me to make it because then I'd have to, like, watch all the Disney shows again to, like, find the worst moments. <laughs> because I'm so extra that way. Poor other Steve. <laughs> wait, wait. Someone says if you understand Spanish, you could definitely learn Portuguese. But I would like to say that's not true. No, actually, they are pretty similar, though. I don't think if you could easily learn it, but they are pretty similar. Like, I had um this guest in that work the other day, and uh, they were speaking Portuguese. And I was like, oh, I'm trying to learn Spanish. And they're like, no, learn Portuguese instead. And I thought that was funny. But I'm like, yeah, but I can't watch Soy Luna that way. I mean, maybe. There's probably a Portuguese dub, but. <laughs> Spanish is more widely, like, a thing in Canada, at least. Sí. Yo conozco todo el español. Sí. Fave Hillary Duff movie. Ooh. Speak. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. <laughs> <laughs> Nina's favorite Hillary Duff movie is Speak. Um, the mine's probably the Lizzie McGuire movie. Oh, what's that one that was, like, newer... Uh, it was like a Beauty and the Beast remake. I think it was just Beauty and something else. But that one was really good. I have never seen that. We should watch it. Yeah, we should. I actually haven't seen it in a while. So like, it was pretty good. What time is it? It's time for lunch. What time is it? It's time for lunch. My mother used to own a child daycare. And they would play that show all the time. Is that the fish thing? Yeah, Bubble Guppies. Worst Disney show? Bunked. <clears throat> Pineapple. Beauty and the Briefcase. That's what it was called, and it was pretty good. Uh, oh, Alexis wants to know how old I am. Alexis. Everybody in the comments, let Alexis know. <laughs> hey, Disney lover. Hey, Disney lover. <laughs> Look at all the comments. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. What's my favorite Disney Junior show? That's a good question. So I only feel like that's a good question because I work at the Disney store and um, we always have a lot of Disney Junior merchandise. Um, I really liked the Vampirina merchandise that we had. Like I thought that the concept was really cool. I never watched the show, but <laughs> I thought that the concept was cool. Also, um, in like the theater, I don't know if you guys have ever been to a Disney store before, but they have like a theater where there's like a movie playing and or like not movie, like clips. And recently they started playing this clip from Puppy Dog Pals and it was like this like dog singing. Oh, I know it. It's like a never met somebody so small and <laughs> so many little tiny feet on the ground. It's a really cute song. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like the, Karina, the cool the ghoulish girl in a human world. Oh Vampirina. Oh my god, you're gonna end up with Thor, according to Thor Javier what? Carlos. Thor what? Thor. Thor. What? Thor, the god of thunder. I'm gonna end up with them? Yeah. Why? Because you're pretty and you got a good attitude. <laughs> if that was true, I'd have a boyfriend by now. <laughs> Thoughts on Rukaya? That would be Riley. Ooh, would that be Riley, Lucas, and Maya? Is that what that is? Probably. <laughs> oh, <I just> <laughs> <laughs> um, what was what was the thoughts on it? If that's a poly ship, that's cool. If we could if we could ship 
like that more often than like so many love triangles would be solved. Oh, I know. I always think that every time there's a love triangle, I'm like, if like polyamory was more accepted, then like there wouldn't be a problem with this. Like, if you've ever seen the music video for The Lodge, my favorite place to be. Have you seen that, Nina? Sorry. My favorite place to be, that music video from The Lodge. Yeah. It's like really poly if you watch it as like thinking about it being poly. I don't even remember the video. Because like, like, it's yeah. like it's like Sky like having a good time with um Sean and Ben. And it's all about, like, whenever I'm with you, it's my favorite place. And I'm like, you're in love with both of them. Great Which she is. That's what Polly is, basically. Except for they're not in. <clears throat> but I guess it doesn't need to be like that. Anyways, we're talking too much about this. Yeah. Speak Spanish, please. Uh, yo como manzanas. Conversation. Okay. Hola. Uh, Hola, como estas? Uh, bien, eh, tú? Yo soy un poquito. No. Estoy bien. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a while to get there. Um. Um, I don't know any other. Just so I can use it. Um, tengo frío, tengo cansada, <laughs> quiero ayer. No, no, quiero voy <laughs> al doing. supermercado. <laughs> yeah, we do need to go grocery shopping. <laughs> Nina, Queen of Spanish. Nina does know quite a lot of Spanish. She is, um, what's the level you're at? What's it called? I'm at level three, baby. She's I went three. to Nicaragua for a month. She went to Nicaragua for a month and that helped her, I think. Would you say? Yeah, yeah. I, I learned on my own before going to Nicaragua. Then I went to Nicaragua and I learned more there. And then I actually took courses after that. She wants, because I'm taking Spanish one right now. And she wants me to take Spanish two over the summer. And then we can take Spanish 3 together next semester. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Someone's writing in this language. Do you know what language that is? Uh, I think that's Russian. Mm. I Who do I all languages. What? <laughs> <laughs> Who do I ship Tori with? Um, oh, my goodness. This happened on my other live stream where I could not remember his name. Andre. I ship Tori and Andre. I think they'd be really cute. Mm, right? Yeah. Go figure is the best. Go figure is one of my favorite ones because Caitlin, hello. Should we go grocery shopping? Maybe who's your favorite Disney Channel actress? Favorite Disney Channel actress? Probably Dove Cameron. Just kidding. It's not Dove Cameron. I think is is it? It's favorite, right? It's not like the best. Mm -hmm. That'd be a different question. Well, who 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 did you say? Oh, I said Dove Cameron as a joke because I don't think she's that good of an actress. <laughs> well, who was your, your actual one? I don't know. Maybe Ooh, this Brazil person David Henry. said uh, you Ooh, or Spanish Sterling. in the summer. Well, um, my school offers summer courses and I need to take some because I'm behind on my credits. So... If Spanish is offered, then I'll probably do that because I want to learn more Spanish. Me can? Me and can to Espanol. That means I love Spanish, right? Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, me encanta. What's that mean? I forget. It is not real. Oh, she did see. I was right. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful language, right? Yeah. Or idioma. Idioma. Mi amo italiano. Like Alex and Co. Nia's favorite show. Yeah. <laughs> Means I like Spanish. Okay, I was right. Do you know French? Do I know French? No, Nina does. Bonjour. Bonjour. Mm -hmm. Je peux parler français. Me gusta. It was also, I like Spanish too. Thoughts on Evanor. I feel like I watched some episodes with that with Nina and I like didn't really like it that much. No, I've never heard of this. No, we did. We watched it back when like I, we were into the lodge. Not that we're not into the lodge now, but like when the lodge was a thing. Because it's another Disney Channel UK show. And so we watched like the first two episodes. But and then I was kinda like, this is boring. Cause I think it's like Disney's response to House of Anubis. Oh, right, right, right. Remember? Right. 
Mm-hmm. Also, the new bits is good, though, except for when all the characters left. Bonjour, Layla. I love the lodge. Me too, Thai girl forever. Oh, you should watch Travelers. Everybody go watch Travelers on Netflix. <laughs> So like he's just holding bags of blood. I was like, that's a lot of blood. <laughs> <laughs> it's a time traveling show, though, if you guys are into that. Hi, Jackie. Jackie's back? I guess she, Jackie said she never left. Oh my gosh, it's only been two hours. We should probably go grocery shopping. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to close. Or, or, we could have lunch. <laughs> I mean, the options are too difficult. You know. I got it right, by the way. It what? was Russian. Oh, nice. Grocery store live. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> it's not easy to grocery store live. No, because we have to, like, buy stuff. and Yeah. It'd be easy if, like, I still lived at home and my mom was doing the grocery shopping and I was just following her around. But now that, like, we don't live at home, we actually have to buy stuff ourselves and, like, actually pay attention to what we buy. Okay, Ninja, if you, sorry. If you okay. do watch Travelers, you should go check out my channel. Yeah, they don't know what it is. I know. Okay. But Ninja keeps saying, I will watch Travelers for Nina. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> um, wait, and wait. Have you ever um, seen Paw Patrol? No, but so many guests come into the Disney store being like, do you guys have Paw Patrol? And I'm like, no. Someone asked me what my favorite decom was. Mm. And I it's lemonade them, mode. So. It is lemonade <laughs> mode. It's the same as mine. What do I think of Teen Beach movie? I think it's a great film and it's better than High School Musical. Fight me. My laptop's really warm on my legs. I'm like sweating. <laughs> uh, you still have an hour. Till it closes. <laughs> Bro, people need to learn the difference between Disney and Nick. Oh, you tell them. Who you fight it? <laughs> HSM is overrated. Retweet. I am so sick of HSM. Sorry, I'm moving my computer around a lot because it's like hot. And just like, listen, I love High School Musical, but I'm just sick of it, you know? <laughs> Layla, Layla's worried for us because we're not going to have food. <laughs> no, we'll go. I'll go. We'll be done in like five minutes. Okay. I'm done with that. Okay. Would you rather be in a tub of snakes or a tub of ice? None of the above. Nina, what's your OTP? Ooh, Luke Benward and Nina. That's, no, I think they've been like on a show. <laughs> what's your OTP on a show? Oh my God, that's such a hard question. Meg Donnelly's music? I saw, I, not saw, I heard smut. Mackenzie Como. Mackenzie Como. Oh, shout out to you, Mackenzie. Have you watched Dumplin'? Yeah. It was all right. Jackie and I watched it. Nina was there, too. <laughs> I don't know why it just said Jackie and I. Uh, Dumplin'. Uh, High School Musical will always be the best decom. Bro, No. Like, it's the most popular one, sure. Or the best one? No. Definitely not. I know my OTP. Who is your OTP? Dean and Seamus Finnegan from Harry Potter. Oh, so I recognize these names. Are they canon? No. Mm. Well, yeah. In my head. <laughs> Did you see when someone asked me if I was a lesbian? No. But, I mean, they probably lot want me. <laughs> That's funny. See, I, kind of, I don't know, it just kind of bugs me that people think just because, like, I make videos where I ship non-straight couples, that means that it equals that I'm not straight. I don't know. I feel like that's dumb. Yeah, the best ships to ship are the gay ones. <laughs> Nina, you have great taste. Thank you. <laughs> I've seen, Nina has seen Miraculous Ladybug. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot that you've seen that. Somebody else asked me earlier if I should, if I watched it, and I said I should. I feel like the reason I didn't watch it is because you said it was really repetitive. Yeah, it was. It had, like, a formula each episode. Wait, 
Oh, is Shrek canon in reality? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, see, okay, I have a feeling that Ninja is talking to someone else in the comments. She's like, Lulu, why is this girl legit you? <laughs> what? <laughs> You deserve more subs. Thank you. I'm almost at 50,000. Raise the roof. <laughs> yes, when you get the 50,000, we should go to the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> <laughs> That's because back when I got 2,000 subscribers back in like forever ago, me and Katie went to celebrate at the Cheesecake Factory, which is so crazy that like 2,000 subscribers was like such a big thing it's for me. It's going to be a big thing for me too. <laughs> 5k to a face I mean 50k 5k I wonder what she looks when like. was my face reveal I wonder uh, how it was your first face video <laughs> no I just wonder how many subscribers I had at my face it reveal. was your um everything wrong with the new Disney channel yeah my favorite decon character is Olivia hey that was mine too <laughs> I said or, I related uh, to her the most. What's Adam's character? Wes. When? When? Fake fan. <laughs> okay, one more minute, and then we're going to go grocery shopping. So if you want to follow along grocery shopping, follow me on my Instagram at Kate Loves Disney. I'm not okay. guaranteeing anything. I just <laughs> might, <laughs> might post a story about it. My least favorite decom is High School Musical. Really? More than zombies? Yeah. Hmm. I like the More than Twitches? Decom. Oh, Cheetah Girls. Oh, I forgot about Cheetah yeah, Girls. Yeah, you don't like Cheetah Girls. It's funny. Okay, guys. You got to go get some groceries. I'll have nothing to eat. But this was a lot of fun. Um, I do these more often on my Instagram if you want to follow me over there. I already mentioned it like 7 million times. But I'm just letting you guys know again. You can follow me there if you want to watch more of these. But I might do some more on here because, I don't know, it's it's fun. I like talking to you guys. Um, I do have a video coming out tomorrow, probably like around 3. Um, it's going to be about my experience working for Disney, and it's a lot of fun. So y'all have that to look forward to. Hope everybody has a good night or day, wherever time zone you're in. Um, and I love you guys a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye.